Moving interactions makes a website feel more fluid and modern as users browse through different pages. But you might not have the time to be able to animate every single section as well as Apple do. Like this is just ridiculous. So today we're going to look at how we can quickly set up subtle interactions across all the pages of our website without sinking hours into adjusting every single object. So let's jump right in. First, let's look at the 30 second option. We can make sure all the containers on our website have the same shared class, which is of course container. And then we can add an interaction to all of them. So we'll add scroll into view and we'll select either fade or slide depending on the look that we're going for. And we can slide from the bottom and then just give it a bit of a delay. And then we're going to apply that animation to every single container class. And now when we load our website, each section is going to load in as we scroll down to that section. Now it's better we add this to the container rather than the section, as if we add it to the section, it's going to load in the background color of each section too, which can look a little bit jarring. But adding in the same interaction to every container is a little bit limiting. We might only want this faded interaction on a couple of sections and then add different interactions into different sections. So instead, what we can do is tie interactions to base classes and then use those classes wherever we want that interaction used. So let's do that now. We'll drop in just a blank div and we're gonna create all of the classes that we're going to use. For this example, we'll just use slide in for the bottom. We'll go over to our interaction and add exactly that. Scroll into view, slide from the bottom. And we're gonna tie it to that specific class. And we're going to add in a couple more classes that have a delay so that way when we animate a specific section we can animate different objects within the section to load in at different times so we're going to duplicate this one we'll add 200 milliseconds to the end go back to our interactions and do the same thing scroll into view slide from the bottom this time giving 200 milliseconds and binding it to that class so we can do this a couple more times and we can set up it going from different directions if we want to and as many different delays as we want so that we have a range of different classes that we can use. So now we've added in a bunch of styles that we can use to go through our website and quickly add subtle animations to all the different sections. So we have a couple of different slide-ins that we've added. So slide in from the bottom, slide in from left and right, and also a couple of different fade-ins with delays. So now I can simply copy one of these, go to my element and add it as a class to the end. And now I'll go down and add one with a delay. I'll go down and do the same with a longer delay. I'll do that one more time. And now when I preview, I can see those interactions coming in. And I can keep moving through the website and adding in these interactions. So I'll add a slide into this section. And maybe this one slides in from the left. And then I'll do the same to the next section but this one slides in from the right. And then down here, we're gonna add in fade-ins. So we'll go back to our classes, we'll copy the fade-in, we'll add it to the header, and we'll add it to each section as well. And we'll preview that. Now we can go through the rest of our website and using these classes, add subtle interactions to every single section. And in this way, we can quickly add movement to our website without having to go through and manually add interactions to every single element. So let me know if you found this short tip interesting or helpful or how you set up interactions across your website. Or if you have any other recommendations for future videos, feel free to pop those in the comments too. Otherwise, thank you for watching as always. Feel free to leave a like and I'll see you on the next one.